Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Miyuki, for those of you who are new here, I post a bunch of random stuff on my channel. At the moment it's like mostly shoe related, but in the future I will for sure also post a lot of different things. So if you're up for that, feel free to subscribe and follow me also on my Instagram if you like. As you already can see from the title, today we are going to be talking about the best shoes for beginners who want to start wearing platform shoes. Now, when it comes to platform shoes, it is really, really important in what kind of style you want to go to, because I feel like in the last couple of years, platform shoes have gained quite a lot of popularity within also the mainstream community. And it is highly possible that you will find some nice platform shoes also in your local shoe store right now, which for example, I didn't really see back in like 2014 around there when i started wearing platform shoes it was almost impossible to find them in store and i always had to purchase them online and this actually leads me to my first tip for you if you are in search for a nice platform shoe that is not like a crazy kind of style and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money keep your eyes out in your local shoe stores for example, in Daichman, I could find some really nice buffalo imitation ones and they were on sale for like 15 francs, which is like 13 euros. So that was really, really worth it. The second tip is that you should also look out in Facebook market, Depop, Vintage and all these kind of secondhand markets because there you can actually also find really nice deals most of the shoes are barely worn. I have myself purchased several pairs from Facebook market and I was lucky to be in a local area with her so I could meet up with her and I tried on the shoes and saw in what condition they are and so on. So it was perfect and I ended up paying like half the price as I would have paid for the normal new pair. Just keep in mind when you buy from places like this that not everyone is serious with it. Some just want to steal your money. So really look out for that. If you have a bad feeling, better not purchase it at all. And it's the best to always ask for other pictures than the ones that are on the um, post already. Just to make sure like it's real. These are the shoes that are there, you know just so you can make sure you know what you're going to get. Now, if you want to find a more special kind of shoe that is more specific in style and you don't want them to be pre-owned, then here is a list of shops which sell shoes on a low budget for as little as $17. And from my personal experience, I know that these shops can be sometimes a little bit sketchy. So just make sure to read through the comments if there are no comments then better don't purchase them yet because then we don't know about them also look out if there is any pictures from clients that uploaded them so you know what they're going to look like because normally it's not the picture that they show on the actual website especially for sites like from china like aliexpress and ebay make sure to size at least one size up because even if the size chart says it's the same one like Chinese size and European size, it is not. And even if they are going to be a little bit loose, you can just put an insole and make them work. Now, if you have a little bit more money aside or your birthday is just around the corner, you might want to get shoes that are a little bit more pricey. So here are some brands that have shoes that start from about $50 on up till probably like $150 around this price scheme. And these are probably all brands that you have at least seen once somewhere on the internet already, because I think within this price scheme, these are the most famous brands at the moment in the scene, I guess. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. If I forgot one, please write it down below. Um, but yeah. These ones were the ones that came into my mind and which most of them I also have tried myself. As you guys probably know, Demonia are my favorites because I just think overall 
price and quality is in balance and also the looks is like just and also something that might not be important for everyone but which is very important for me is that it's a whole experience going on that website ordering the shoes and unboxing these they mostly have like this the velvety paper or how you call this the silky paper and you just unpack them and it's like ah, it's like a present to myself <laughs> so this is something that I really really enjoy when I purchase from brands like this because they also really take care of their marketing and how they are packing their shoes and of course also these brands have from time to time sale so if you want a specific kind of shoe then I think it's really worth it to look in the sales section once in a while because who knows maybe someday your shoes are going to be on sale there as well and then it's the time to grab them if you have even more money aside and it's really time to treat yourself then here are some brands that are even more expensive than that that have shoes from probably around 150 dollars upwards now from these brands i don't really have a lot of experience with them doc martens i have three pairs and they're i think they are pretty decent quality but sadly they give me tons of blisters so i'm not really able to be to wear them so i think it's a little bit sad so i wouldn't really recommend these as beginner shoes because this will probably just ruin your mood and you will never try again to wear platform shoes um naked wolfie i have never tried before because i think their brand is just so completely overpriced i don't know what is exactly special about these shoes and overall they look really cool like the designs are really nice but i don't really see why they would cost 300 dollars like i really don't and they also tell themselves that they are the luxury designer footwear so that's just probably their thing what they're going for like as the luxury platform shoe brand i don't know but yeah i have no idea about them so if anyone has tried them please let me know if they are worth their money or if you're just paying for the brand furthermore we have new rock i think they also sell a little bit more cheaper ones but i think the more like the special ones you know that they don't have probably under a hundred dollars i think New Rock is a brand that has been around for many many years. I think they have almost always been like a part of like the alternative scene. I personally only had one pair of them. They were like three kilograms heavy, so they are really really heavy shoes. This is why I wouldn't recommend them for beginners, just because it's gonna be super tiring and not all the platform shoes are like this. So I think it's better to start with some more light witches and then go slowly to the heavier ones overall they are very good quality i think most of them are handmade if i'm not wrong they are very recognizable of course with all their little metal bits and pieces however yeah they are also really expensive part of that is for sure also for the brand now that we have overall an idea of the different brands and the price ranges we are going to be talking about which platforms are actually the easiest to walk in. For this, we can actually do a little quiz. I'm always going to be showing you one kind of platform and you are going to say whether that's easy to walk in or not easy to walk in. Let's start. So let's start with something more easy. Are they easy to walk in? Yes or no? The answer is yes, these shoes are easy to walk in. They don't have like a super high platform, but still it is definitely there. It has a nice tight fit and it's a little bit broader on the bottom, which gives you a great sense of balance. So these ones are definitely a yes. Next one. Are they easy to walk in? Yes, they are easy to walk in. Why? Because they are hugging your leg, so they are really giving you that sense of stability. And also, 
their platform is pretty broad in the front is not too high so like this difference it's also not too big very comfortable shoe to wear and looking really badass yes this one is easy to walk in next one Are they easy? They could be actually because they are flat, right? But the answer is no, they are not. And here is why. The sole here, it is completely flat. Like there is nothing whatsoever to support your foot. Not even from the inside. There is absolutely nothing. It's just completely flat. After a short while, your feet are already going to start hurting. And also, this shoe is super heavy, so the only thing that actually is pulling you is here. That around the ankle that is holding you a little bit. But other than that, there is nothing to support. And overall, I'm just really disappointed with this shoe because I think it looks really cool. But for starters, I would say no. Next. Are they easy? Yes, they are. You might wonder like, huh, but they are like high heels. Like how can they be comfortable? But actually the heel height is not that much. And besides that, these ones are from AliExpress. They look super, super cool. I've had um, shown them already in a previous video. They are super well made, very lightweight though they have like a spongy material as the soles, which is very sturdy. It hugs you here by the foot and overall, this is a very comfortable design. So these ones are comfortable. And the next one. Comfortable, yes or no? The answer is medium. <laughs> these shoes are actually built very similar to the previous shoes that I just showed you however there is little to no support around your ankles which makes it very easy to fall in them so these ones I might not recommend and I think these are also a little bit scary to begin with but actually if there is just flat ground to walk or if it's somewhere inside and the ground is completely flat these ones would actually also be very easy to walk in and the last pair. You know, they're a little bit broken, I know. <laughs> I have fallen in them, so that's why they look like this. Are they easy to walk in? Yes, they are. They are very easy to walk in. These are actually the shoes that I would recommend the most if you want to start wearing platform shoes. I am such a fan of these. And this is the shaker platform and they have many many different styles of the shaker platform so you don't necessarily have to get this one but I just think the platform of these is the perfect one to start with it's not that tall but in the back it's still quite tall it's about 10 centimeters in the back so it still gives you that sense of like that chunky feeling but the possibility that you would like trip on this side or anything um, it's very very small unlike for example these ones which are very s slim you know um, so these ones I can just recommend them so so much now what have you learned from this quiz we have seen that flat doesn't always equal easy and the heel doesn't always equal difficult they were from both examples that showed the opposite. So keep in mind when buying a platform shoe, especially if it's your first one, to look out for a good support around your ankle, that your foot is not completely flat and that the shoe is not too heavy. I think these things are the main things that you have to look out for when purchasing shoes and to know whether they're going to be comfy or not. I think these points are crucial and I also showed you my favorite pair which I would recommend for anyone that wants to learn also for people with wider feet they are perfect 
and also they are adjustable on the ankles so I think they would also fit a little bit wider calves. Another thing that we learned was that as the platform goes out towards the ground this actually makes it easier to walk in because there, it's less likely to fall on either side. When you walk around the corner, believe it or not, there is the centrifugal kraft. I have no idea what that means in English, but in German it's that. <laughs> um, but anyways, it's the physics of getting pushed out when, you t when you're walking in a circle. Um, and this is actually what happens when you walk around the corner. If the platform is broad, it's gonna save you from that. But if the platform is like flat straight to the ground, it can happen that you fall to a side. So this is also something really, really important. I think the higher the platform gets, the better it is if it goes a little bit out to the ground. Before we get to the end of this video, I just want to tell you that I really tried to gather all the information in this video and kind of like make it as compact as possible and as I always say something that is right for me might not be right for you so it is very important that you try if you can try the shoes in real then it's the best to do that because only then you're gonna know which one will be actually the most comfortable for you and everyone has different feet, everyone has different length, width, etc. You know what I mean. So it's very, very individual. So, so just keep that in mind. But I think with that, you have a very good base on touching all the different kind of aspects when it comes to platform shoes. Now that you know where to purchase, what kind of price range and what kind of platform, basically what you look out for, I think you are ready now to go out and purchase your very first pair of platform shoes. If you have any more questions, please leave it down below and I will try to answer it as soon as possible. And also, if you bought some platform shoes, I would love to know which ones you decided to get. I will be putting some recommendations in the end of this video. The links to them are in the description box down below. If you liked my video, I would really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and if you like my content in general, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and my Instagram. I hope this video helped you and I thank you really really much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video and I wish you a lovely day or night wherever you are. Bye bye!